Senator Elizabeth Warren has a stern warning for Democrats. In a lengthy op-ed, she writes this. Here's a quote. To put it bluntly, if we fail to use the months remaining before the elections to deliver on more of our agenda, Democrats are headed towards big losses in the midterms. This, as the Washington Post ranks possible 2024 frontrunners, putting VP Harris in third behind Mayor Pete. The paper saying we're dropping Harris down a slot this time. She's done little to change the perceptions that harmed her in 2020, including on her ability to drive a message. Fox News contributor, former Democrat himself, Leo Terrell, joins us now. Leo, can you believe it? You know, when Jimmy Carter was president, Ted Kennedy ran against him. It really hurt the Democratic Party. They don't care about hurting the Democrat. This would be a Democratic incumbent, and they don't care about running possible prospects out there. Why? I'll tell you why, because you have the weakest president. You mentioned Jimmy Carter. Joe Biden is worse than Jimmy Carter. And I'll tell you right now, Brian, when you talk about the Carter administration, at least they try to be for the working class. The Democratic Party today is not the party of the working class. It's the party of the elite. They have turned their backs on the Democratic working class people. Think about it, Brian. Working class people want safe streets. They want good schools. They want the border secure. And they want inflation down. Democrats are not even thinking about that. They're talking about continuation of the Biden administration policies, which you cannot defend. It's indefensible. All right. So one of the quotes from Elizabeth Warren's column was this, another one. While Republican politicians peddle lies, fear, and division, we should use every single one of the next 200 days uh, or so before the election to deliver meaningful improvement for working people. Is that why they're going to bat for trans rights and uh, uh, talking about hormone blockers? You know what? I, I, I'll tell you right now, Brian, I was a Democrat. I'm a school teacher. And that's not what working class Americans want at all. Elizabeth Warren is in a bubble because what she's asking the Biden administration to do is double down on the policies that are currently failing. They're failing this country. And what they're in denial of is what was going on, what was working before they took office was working. But, of course, that would have to be giving uh, right. kudos to Trump, and they're not going to do that. I want to show the people at home this list who don't get the Washington Post delivered to their doorstep. Uh, president Biden's number one, so that's good news for him. He is the president. Pete Buttigieg, number two, for being doing such a great job of the supply chain. Uh, Vice President Harris doing a fantastic job at the border. Elizabeth Warren's been so quiet. Klobuchar's number five. Uh, <laughs> Governor Roy Cooper, Sherrod Brown, who decided not to run last time. Cory Booker, uh, number eight. Gavin Newsom, horrific job, almost recalled out in California. And then the Queens' own AOC. Out of that group, who are you looking at right now if you're a Democrat? I notice there's no moderates there. You don't see Cuellar, you don't uh, see Manchin. I, I, please, let me tell you right now, you got the weakest incumbent president ever. I want to be very clear, save this tape. Kamala Harris' elected political career is over. She'll never win again. Pete Buttigieg, the man who talks a lot but says nothing, this is a very, very weak Democratic bench. I would pick number 11 on there, and since there's only 10, number 11 is the best candidate on that list, Brian. Uh, number 11 is the best. Someone's not there. Hey, and Tulsi Gabbard, <laughs> I thought, was the best debater. She was the first one to expose Kamala Harris on the stage, yes. but uh, doesn't really have much momentum inside the party. Um, great to see you. Uh, they don't like moderates. They don't like moderates. They, the Democratic Party, like I said, the working class, the Democratic Party is not the party of the moderates. Uh, Kristen Sinema, Joe Manchin, Tulsi Gabbard, they're, they're, they're persona non grata. I'm telling you right now, if they ran Manchin, if they, I don't know much about uh, Sinema in detail, but if they, if they get some Republican votes. But we'll see. Absolutely. Leo, thanks so much. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.